um, that just positive that we are in the right direction, but it tells us also we have to work really hard to get uh, to a higher level. So with injuries and absentees for the City game? For the City game. Um, the situation is following that um, Harry Maguire is injured. Um, and I think for the rest, we have some, some doubts with um, uh, Anthony Marshall, but he was training all week um, with the group, so we're really happy with that situation. And he's performing really well in training. He makes a, a good impression. Uh, Rashford he returns into training. Um, so also we are happy with that. And for the rest, maybe, I think for the rest, only the long, longer term injuries like Axel Tuanseba, Brandon Williams, um, they are not available. Uh, Harry Maguire, a lot is said about Harry Maguire and I appreciate he's not going to play in this game. But do you have to be protective of him? Because it seems as though anything that goes wrong, he'll get blamed for it, whether he's directly responsible or not. That there's so much written about him, most of it is negative, most on social media at the moment is negative. Do you have to defend him? Do you have to protect him? First of all, uh, of course, I have to coach him. I have to to back him. Um, but I back him because I believe in him. And um, and uh, in the period I was work, I work with him, uh, precision was good. Was I think we would say really good training and games. So then he he fall out. But that has also to do with the good performance from the centre backs who are playing now. But I can see the qualities. And even after he was not in the team, he trained really well. But what more important, the quality was really there. And uh, you see his career. Uh, he's I think almost 50 caps for England. Uh, he already. Uh, with Leicester, with Man United, he, he's performing really well. So what you see, he has a high potential, and it's all. And then it's about him, uh, the, the players in the dressing room, the coaches, the manager. We all believe in him, and now it's about him. And that is what I, I taught him, uh, and we, I'm sure he can do it, and he will turn around this. I, I'm really convinced of that. Just, just in terms of Manchester City, most people would regard them as the benchmark for every other club in the Premier League. What, what is your view going going there and facing Guardiola and, and facing that team? I, the approach is from us and uh, look to ourselves. And, um, and the approach for Man United is we want to win Africa. And that message I already told several times here. So the aim for Sunday is nothing else. Huh? We uh, we have to 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 perform our best, and we have to um, uh, out of our uh, way of play, our rules, our principle. We have to do it our best, and of course we will. Uh, we make a, a good game plan, and then it's about the execution, and we have to do it. And we know that if we want to get a result, and we want to get a result, we have to do it 100% well. Um, Eric, what do you know of the Manchester Derby and what's it mean to you to be involved in it? I play many derbies <laughs> and, and, um, and I know what, what derbies, what, what they are, uh, what rifles, um, uh, what they are doing with each other. And I think, and I know it's the m most important game uh, here in Manchester area uh, for the fans. And, uh, and it, it excites me. <laughs> you want to be involved in such games. Uh, it gives uh, such a good vibe. It gives so much energy. And uh, you do everything to win that game, clear. question that's been posed to a number of managers over the first six, seven weeks of the season, no one yet has been able to come up with a definitive answer. How do you prepare for a player with the characteristics and ability of Erling Haaland? It's, it's, we don't play against Haaland, we play against Man City. And they have a team um, and more than 11 players, uh, but we have also, and um, we are conf convinced of our uh, capabilities. And if we act as a team, um, uh, in and out of position, 
yeah, then then you can beat such opponents. And that is the belief where we have to uh, to, to, to get with us when we when we line up, uh, when we start the game, uh, and we need it over more than 90 minutes. And they clear. Hi. Uh, I wonder, referring to, to Harry, uh, but also players in general. Um, your thoughts on the mental health of players? You know, he's getting so much abuse online, on the pitch. He looks like a player who's lost so much confidence. I mean, what are your concerns about that and the, and the responsibility, perhaps football fans, but everyone in general has towards, you know, the human beings? But it's a, it's an aspect of of top football. So it, it's an ex, uh, aspect of our work. So we set conditions for that. As a manager, we also have experts around to, to help and um, yeah, to to coach the player, the players, the team in the right direction. How do you? Uh, I think he's he's doing doing um, quite well, but as every player is a room for improvement. And if he believes in his skills, he will be quickly back on the level and even more. Uh, that he than he did, and I'm once again I'm convinced of that because I see his capabilities and uh, that's really high. Okay, that concludes the yeah. first section. Yeah. Uh, you, you want a question in the first section? Yes, please. Okay. Um, you've gone through losing the first two games at Brentford game to be manager.